Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Um, I figured I would do a vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a hot minute and I was like, let me just do one. Also, Gisu, Gisu sent me this PR package yesterday. Look how cute this is. Isn't that the cutest little packaging? It's a little lip oil. It has like the natural honey scent, so it's not like the best smelling scent in the whole entire world, but nevertheless, it's really cute. I've had a very productive morning. It is currently um, 10.28. I'm gonna go work out in probably about 30-ish minutes. I'm waiting on Chase to get here. And um, I had a bunch of emails I have to do. I ate a little bit of tuna because I was starving half to death. And I have a video that I have to edit to get up for L'Oreal. Actually, it's for the L'Oreal Telescopic Collab, which I'm really excited about. But, like, I don't want to wear makeup today. Brielle came over yesterday. I'll actually show you all the pictures. I'm sure if you follow me, you would have seen them because I posted a thousand of them on my Instagram stories yesterday. But if not, let me let, me let you know. Let me turn off the brightness so you can see good. This was yesterday. Are you kidding me? She's the most talented human being. I am dead over these photographs, if you want me to be honest. She's phenomenal. She's absolutely phenomenal. I'll have her information linked down below. I filmed two other videos with her, three other videos with her, and then we filmed the look yesterday, so I have to edit that today and put it up as well. Um, but I just have, like, some random errand things to do, um, and just, like, influencer stuff you know what I mean just like influencer things um but I want to put on a little bit of makeup not necessarily even makeup I just like want my skin to be glowy and like look cute I actually need to get my bag I was gonna put on a little bit of concealer under my eyes um the elf one that I always use and then just chat and give you guys like a little a little update and whatnot um because I haven't sat down and filmed in like a hot minute I feel like like I've filmed but it's been not chatty videos it's been videos about makeup. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of concealer on the Light 26 in from e.l.f. Like I said before, this video, or not this video, this um, concealer doesn't really give you much coverage. It just brightens your under eyes, which is really all that I want because I have not been sleeping that much recently, but I have been having the time of my life. So does it cancel out? Yes, you can sleep when you're dead. Not really, I actually do need to sleep, but you know. Anyways, also, I'm just in a great mood today. Like, I just have had a really good week. Um, I'm happy. So, that's that. Tomorrow is a Halloween party at my Nana's house. So, all my family every year gets dressed up for Halloween. And then we have a big party at my Nana's house. And they do, like, little gifts for the kids. And, you know, all the fun family Halloween things. I'm going to try this. This is the Say uh, Glowy Super Gel in the shade Sun Glow. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But I guess we will see. And then also they sent me um, their little brush. It's a fat brush. Fat kabuki. Oh, that's kind of like shiny. Am I going to like this or no? I can't decide. But anyway, I'm trying to like remember everything that Brielle did yesterday. So I can rip. So I can replicate it on myself again. Because it was absolutely stunning. And every time she does something, I'm like, wow. That was extremely revolutionary. And... You did indeed change my life. You did, in fact. And I just love her artistry and the way that she does things. And, like, her... She just has such a such an eye for makeup. And, I mean, I know it's her job. But, like, she's just incredibly gifted and talented. And I met her through YouTube. And I just love her to death. Like, she's just a beautiful soul to be able to know. I actually got to go to her wedding in Georgia, which I think I talked to you all about. Um, it, was, it was fun. It was great. I just love Brielle. Shout out. Brielle and her talent and all her things. She's wonderful. She really is. So anyways, I actually need to edit that video right now because they're waiting on me to send it to them and I got a little bit carried away. Um, so that's that. But I figured I would take you all along probably the next couple days running my business behind the scenes, filling some orders, doing all the things, all the fun beauty things. Um, thought it might be interesting. So before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe and, um, Honestly, I don't know where this day is going to take us, but that's my makeup for today. Well, gosh, diggity dang, I'm such an influencer. Um, I wanted to show you guys my new bag that I bought because I bought it from um, Rebag, actually. And I've never purchased anything from Rebag in my life, but I purchased from The Real Real multiple times. Um, and so I was like, well, it's extremely similar in my opinion, I feel like. So I was like, I'm going to get this bag. It all started because... Let me be honest with you. I suck at setting my camera up, so just bear with me. Okay. 
Okay. That's cold as heck. This all started because this woman named Smiley Reed on TikTok posted a video and she was carrying this bag and I said, what is that bag immediately? I have to know. I had a cart. So that's what happened. That's what I did. So it is this bag. This is Bottega Veneta and never in my life have I ever cared about Bottega Veneta. The Jody bag came out and I was like, I don't care. Literally don't care. Um, however, this one uh, pulled on every heartstring I ever had and ever will have. This is the Napa from Bottega Veneta. They don't make this bag anymore. So to like find it in really good quality, it came with the dust bag and everything. It is extremely difficult and like hard to do, but I'm good at finding stuff like that. So anyway, it comes with a little rebag thing um, right here. And then on the inside, it is perfect, perfect, perfect quality. I'm so excited as far as like a fall bag goes. Like I literally could not be more thrilled. And I feel like it's it's vintage, but it's like not at the same time because it's so well kept, but they don't make it anymore. And it's just like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's the perfect size. This is the small, by the way. Um, I looked up a size chart because I was like, the, they had a medium that was actually cheaper than this one. Um, but I was like, I don't know how that will look because it's so big. So it comes with a Bottega Veneta mirror. There you are. And then the little mirror says Bottega Veneta on the back. Then it comes with the um, certified by rebag thing. So if I wanted to sell it on rebag or if I wanted to sell it again, I have the authentication card. And then I have the Bottega Veneta authentication card inside and all of this was like so so well kept and i don't know when they stopped making this bag but the um the hardware is not tarnished at all as a matter of fact it looks basically brand new um this is up close of it i'm so excited like i'm literally thrilled um to have it so that's that i just filmed a few more tiktoks and then i edited my youtube video the sephora haul I added to that, and actually right after this, I think I'm going to play, um, or like add in the clips from yesterday from my Revolve haul. Don't dare judge my opinion, or judge my opinion, judge my appearance. I look like a troll, um, so don't judge me. But anyways, that's that. Um, I'm going to eat some pineapple, honestly, because it just sounds phenomenal to have pineapple. But anyway, I'm going to upload that YouTube video and upload some other... TikToks and get ready for um, the weekend because I'm like I said I'm going to Atlanta and tomorrow uh, I'm getting up early gonna work out as per usual and then head to Atlanta. I'm not excited. I'm not excited to go for on the drive. I'm very excited to be there. You know what I mean? I hate the drive. Love to be there, but the drive's not that bad. I'm gonna go. I don't know why. Pineapple has my heart. Ever since I was in Orlando, I was just like, dang, pineapple sounds so good. So I got it every day in this little, like, in the hotel store that they had. And it was $7 for a tiny thing of pineapple. And anyways, ever since then, I've been addicted to pineapple. And I swear to you, I could finish this entire thing just sitting here. I'm not going to. But I could. So I'm going to roll the clips of the Revolve, like, Abercrombie and H&M haul now. It's going to look a little bit different because I filmed it on my phone yesterday. Because I didn't have my camera with me. Um, and that's that. Enjoy. I made a protein shake. I made some pretzels. But some other stuff came in from Revolve. And I figured I'd show you. So... Here's what I got from Revolve, again. Oh, also yesterday was the 15% off sale, and I went crazy, but it's okay. So here's these. I was planning on wearing these with the, the dress for the wedding. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow. So here's these. They're absolutely stunning. My dress is like the color of my nails. Um, and these are really, really lightweight, so I like these. And these have been on my favorites on Revolve for a long time, so I picked these up. I think they're really pretty as well. And they're lightweight as well. These are super lightweight. Like, cannot fill them in your ears. These are a little bit heavier, but not, like, uncomfortable. Then, I have been wanting this sweatshirt for a thousand years. It's been out of stock. And then it finally came back in. It's from the brand Boys Lie, which my friend Caitlin um, introduced me to. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, fully transparent. This is not a very nice sweatshirt. Like, the feel of it. Like, it's, it gives me Hanes, like, guild and sort of vibes. Um, no joke. Like, I swear to you, I, I think it's... It's just not good quality. And, like, I think it was 150 bucks, which kind of 
He's extremely annoying. Yeah, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. That's like the cheapest blend you can get. White Fox still has my favorite stuff. But anyway, on the front of it, it's embroidered and it says, what are we going to do? Or what are you going to do without him? And then the back of it says, <laughs> whatever I want. I love that. I think it's funny. However, I do think that I could have had someone literally locally make this. So that's a wee bit annoying. Then I picked these up. These are from Super Down and they fit really well. Like they're just cool pants. I wanted a pair of like chill cargo pants and these are low rise. These are a small and I could have done an extra small, but I like the way that the smalls fit. Like they're just kind of, um, I don't know, they fit cool. And they've got the cargo like pockets on the side. I hope you can see that. And then they tie up at the bottom or you can wear them loose. They've got these little pockets back here. They're from Super Down, so they're not that expensive. And then the last thing I got, I was not expecting to keep these. I was going to send them back, actually. Um, because I have a pair from Abercrombie that are very similar. But I put these on and I was like, dang, I like these a whole lot better. These are from Steve Madden. And they are, like, essentially a baby cowboy boot. They're really, really cute. They're very cute on. I love the suede. They're very comfortable. They're not that expensive. Shall I go on? So anyways, yeah, I really like these. Um, they also have the little pull thing at the top, which I like. I like that they have a zipper on the side. They're just cute boots. And so I was like, well, let's keep them. So I'll have those linked down below for you guys as well if you want to shop them. Because um, they are really cute, like all the stuff that I've talked about. And then my dress, my dress was kind of expensive, actually. I think it was 320 bucks. And then I bought one from Meshki um, that I also, like, I really wanted to wear the one from Meshki, but it's literally not going to be here until Wednesday, September 28th. What's that about? Oh, my gosh. Look, my sister made me buy this for her birthday. It's a nose ring. Is this going to go on my nose? Oh. Oh, that's so tight. Can you... I am not a nose ring girl. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Anyways, it's a beautiful day outside. It's actually a gorgeous day outside. It rained a little bit this morning, um, but now it's really pretty. So I'm gonna go sit outside, drink my protein shake, upload my TikTok video, upload my other YouTube video, and just have me a day. My mom's got some soup in the crock pot. It's 234. I've been productive. So that's that. Is this the worst camera angle I've ever seen? Close to it. Um, anyways, it's about 30-ish minutes. Where did I put those stupid cotton pads? Like, genuinely, where did I put them? Because I bought, there they are. Thank God. Um, it's about 30-ish minutes before my meeting. And so I'm just going to do my skincare. I worked out. Honestly, I am burning up. Like, I am hot, hot. But I figured I would end the vlog here. Um, just so I can, like, get ready for my meeting. And, like, be in the right headspace and stuff. Um, also, like, I'm just kind of thinking, like, I did Pilates and stuff. I've been also trying to wear my hair down more. Like, uh, not in a tight ponytail or anything really tight at all. Um, but anyways, I did Pilates and then some cardio mixed in. And I feel like social media is so overwhelming. Like, this has been a prominent thought to me recently. Just, like, how overwhelming social media is and how it's, like, um... You just constantly need more and more. And, like, I'll get on there to look for outfit inspo. And it'll lead me, like, down a rabbit hole. Because I'm very into fashion, as probably many of you know. And, like, I want to create more fashion content. Which is what I'm doing today, actually. And, like, I love high fashion. I love pairing outfits. I love all the things. But I feel like I get on there and I get so overwhelmed. And I lose, like, my own creativity and, like, what I want. Because I'm thinking about all the other things. Does that make sense? And, like... It just, it's just so overwhelming. And it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed that. So, um, I don't know. Like, it's just, I need to spend less time on social media, I think. That's kind of difficult because it's my job. But also, no. I mean, it is my job, but I could also spend a lot less time on there. So, I'm going to finish my skincare. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And it was like a really random vlog, but I figured I would just show you like a little behind the scenes. Day in the life sort of thing. 
Um, today's gonna be a fun day. I'm excited about it. I'm just in like a really good space. I really am. I'm so overjoyed because I deserve this after the year that I've had. Um, so yeah, big blessings all the time. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know. I have a blackhead. Um, yeah, like I said, please let me know and like and subscribe before you leave and I hope you have a fabulous day.